everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and I get email from time to time from people who are having a hard time getting their ATEM television studio or their 1ME switcher to work with their camera via HDMI. They have everything set up correctly, they plug the camera in, and nothing comes out. And I had this issue when I upgraded from the television studio to a 1ME. My studio camera just would not come up no matter what cable I used, no matter what I did, nothing was happening. And what happens, I think, is that some you know, lesser expensive uh, consumer cameras like I use don't put out enough voltage over the HDMI cable for the ATEM's liking. So I found a really cheap solution, and that was to get one of these uh, Ori HDMI splitters. There's uh, some others out from other brands that look identical to this that should probably work as well, and they're really simple. So what you do is you plug it into power. It comes with a little power adapter. Uh, plug your camera's HDMI into here, and then run one of the HDMI cables out of the split here uh, to your switcher. And again, it's, this is pretty cheap. It's like 20, 25 bucks and it will solve your problem. At least it solved my problem. It's been working great ever since. It also gives you the ability maybe to extend something out a little bit, uh, or maybe if you wanted to have your studio camera shoot back to some other device, you have a splitter now and can use it for uh, that purpose as well. So that's a cheap way to do it. A more expensive option would be to get a uh, HDMI to SDI converter, and this is one that I also got from Ori, and what you do is, you, I reviewed this already so you can see how it works. Um, you put in an HDMI on one end, then it'll spit out an SDI cable, and what's nice about using SDI is that uh, I think even the television studio has like two, has four HDMI and two SDI inputs, so you could basically free up an HDMI input by converting that HDMI camera to SDI. These things work great, they're about $120, $130, so a lot less uh, than Blackmagic's option, and it's been working great. In fact, the camera that you see me on right now is coming through another one of these I have down here in the studio. So if you're having trouble with HDMI, uh, the cheap option is just to get a splitter that's powered, and I think you might uh, be all set. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.